Hey guys, this is Kime Interviews. We are here with Wage War. We are about halfway through the Fresh Faces tour with Fearless Records, so how's that been going for you all so far? It's been pretty fun. I mean, it's definitely a new experience being out here with Ice Nine Kills. They're veterans at it, so learn a trick or two from them. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. It's just been awesome just to kind of be out uh, playing for new people every night all around the country, so super sick. Yeah, and you guys have a new album coming out pretty soon, so like, how many songs from that are you guys playing live on this tour? Really, uh, all of them are new songs. Uh, I think we have like a five or six song set. So yeah, pretty much all of them are from Blueprints. How have the like crowd reactions been to like maybe you know a lot of these fans haven't heard your guys' stuff yet. So how's that been going? Pretty good. Um, some people show up knowing our stuff, so I'm like, wow, I'm like this kid knows every lyric to the three songs we have out right now. So I'm like, that's really cool. The name of the album is called Blueprints. What does that mean for you guys? Like, what does that title encompass? How does it like tie in with the overall message you guys want to send as a band? Blueprints is what I would call like a foundational record. Like a lot of the record is about growing up. Um, so really like a lot of it is life experiences that we've gone through. Um, like I said, just like growing up in general, there's a lot of like really honest, real stuff that happened to either members of our band or something that we've collectively like put together. Um, so really the, the record is about, you know, all like the hard stuff in life that you got to get through, um, that really defines you as a person. So in essence, like it lays down like the blueprints of who you are as a person. So really just growing up and getting through stuff, I would say. You guys recorded this with Jeremy McKinnon from A Day to Remember. So uh, what was that like? H how would that bring a different experience than any other normal producer? What did you guys, you know, learn from him in the studio? Um, it was it was a really cool experience. We're actually from the same hometown, so we kind of had some things to, like talk about outside of music, which is really cool. But having him in the studio, he's he's a music genius. So. The, the songs that we had and we came in the studio with, he kind of like tweaked them to make them songs, you know what I'm saying? So Jeremy's super gifted dude, uh, as of course everyone's known on all the records he's worked on, all the Day to Remember stuff, so um, just having him there was like a good vibe and like he said, we're from the same hometown so we're all friends and um, he really just helped us make the record that we want to make. Uh, we were all just focused on making 11 great songs, so uh, we had like 30-something ideas uh, going in, uh, so we just whittled it down to 11 and made the best songs possible, so it was great. Is there like any specific advice that he gave you that like you guys will take with you for the rest of your careers, do you think? Um, just kind of be genuine. Don't, yeah. don't throw garbage, I mean... Yeah, being being fake and like stuff like that, it's just not it's not what our band's about. I think that's something he really encouraged us to do was to be real and authentic. Like if you like it, if this is what you want, then put it on your record. Same thing lyrically, musically, whatever that would be. How is this record set apart from everything else you guys have written in the past? Uh, what sets it apart from everything? Like what did you guys go into the studio intentionally trying to do to make uh, your music sound different from what it has in the past? I mean, before this record coming out, I mean, we were a local band, so I mean, it's kind of cool that we get to write a full-length album, so I mean, it's definitely different than like an EP you would put out, so. I would definitely say that, um, I mean, a lot of the songs have been written for a long time, some up to like five years, so um, we just really wanted to go in, like I said, no matter what the, the influence or the uh, genre would have been. Uh, we just wanted to make like the best record possible and write the best lyrics, the best music, the best everything. So at least the best to us that we can put out. So um, yeah, man, just making a killer record, killer songs. I don't care if it sounds like it's from the Backstreet Boys or <laughs> if it's like super heavy. Like yeah. we didn't really care about any of that. It's just like this felt good. This is cool. Let's do that. So. So lastly, guys, what's your personal favorite from the record? And also, where can fans find you all after the Fresh Faces tour? Me, personally, I, I kind of like the heavier side of stuff sometimes. I kind of get to go wild with what I want to do. Uh, it's a song called The River, so it's pretty heavy. <laughs> My favorite song is probably 21. That song means a lot to me. Um, so I would probably go with that. The melodies, the, just the songwriting in general. I'm super, super proud of that one. Uh, you can definitely find us. We're heading out with August Burns right after this. Um, and then 2016 is really booked up pretty far. Uh, we can't talk about it yet, but we will be, we will be everywhere. So uh, a lot of, a lot of touring. So.
Sick. All right, guys. We'll make sure to check the new record out, Blueprints. And make sure to check out Wage War. Find them on the socials and all that stuff. This is Kaim Interviews. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Thank you so much, man. Yeah, dude. Signing out. Take it easy, guys. You are